<laughs> hey, you already know what it is. It's the Al Joseph Show. Al Joseph Show. Hey, I just want to say shout out to everybody that's watching this. Hey, God bless. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to everybody. Al Joseph Show. We love the Al Joseph Show. Woo! Al Joseph Show. Hey, yo, what's happening? You already know what it is. Happy New Year's, everyone. 2016. Welcome to the Al Joseph Show. I'm your host, Al the Blogger. I have a model with me today, Mr. Allen Roscoe. What's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, what's good, bro? Um, hey, uh, I think I told you it's actually Alonzo. Alonzo, I got you. My bad, my bad. How you been, man? Been on? I've been chilling, man. You know, just trying to stay my key. You know how I'm yeah. closing. You know, I'm trying to support the whole world peace movement. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I stand for peace. That's what I stand for. When at the end of the day, I you know if I die, I die a real person. I die a grinder. That person is still for peace, you feel me? Feel so, so I got peace on the back of every single t shirt I'm gonna be selling, bro. Coming out with some eco filming fibers like bamboo, organic cotton, hemp. That shit's gonna be cold, bro, because that bamboo and organic cotton it feels like a mixture between silk and cashmere, bro. On this shirt right uh, now? No, no, no. Sh this shirt is a, it's a prototype. Just, okay, just like a little sample. To show you the logo. We got the logo of the Tree Society shit. Right. Um, but that's coming out with the with the world peace on all these customers back, so they get the feeling out of it, bro. I got you. So, so yeah, man. You know, it's a process. I want to say uh, support dreams. Uh, real quick before we start, uh, Happy New Year's, guys. 2016 is here. Hope y'all have your resolutions set. Uh, speaking of that, do you have any resolutions for this year? You know, man, I got a few. Um, it's it's really just trying to become a better person every yeah. day and, and really expanding and growing and to become the person who, who I'm supposed to be. Okay. Who I feel like God wants me. What do you think that is? Um, just what I feel in my heart, like every moment. You know, I'm just trying to breathe, trying to live, trying to trying to find a way through the days. You know. I think you got potential, like you, you doing the shirts and then you model and then you, you're an actor, you do all, you do it all, yeah, you're an artist, you know, we just stopped over and talked about, you know, while I'm working right now. I feel you, bro, grinding. <laughs> oh, man, I'm grinding, you know, I that little bad chick, you see how she was blushing at this shit. That's, that's what it yeah, is. Man. What do you want to tell the fans about your, your uh, grind, like, 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 uh, your company and your startup business? Like, what do you want to tell people that don't know about you? Yeah, well, I just, I just want to tell them. Ten years from now, that, that I'm gonna support the youth dreams. So when when I wasn't supported as a youth and trying to do all the big things like pay football and, and make some money off of that, yeah. and baseball and basketball, my mom took the burden. She was a single mother raising me like and shit was hard for her trying to get the bail bills paid, pay for my equipment, all that shit, bro. So I'm going in, making this venture happen, bro. And 10 years from now, that shit will be like something to look back at and look at. Shit, I invested $5. Every church sold went to this foundation called the Father Figure Foundation. Are you serious? Figure, and they helped this fucking, this process. That okay. little process you just talked talk about, they helped that process. So they take the burden off that single parent or single... You know, whatever it is, that person that went in and tried to support that that kid yeah. grow up and to be, become a man, become a, a grown person. And so, and through that process, they're trying to be, explore these dreams, all this potential that they see for themselves. Right. And I don't want them to feel like they're limited because they don't have enough money to pay for the equipment or the tuition. So we'll go in and pay for that through the foundation. Okay. And I'm trying to support that, man. The foundation does another thing. Um, by letting uh, the services of fathers um, do community service to pay for the child support so I don't get locked up for that shit, man. Cause you know how it is. A lot of fathers just be dipping and getting caught up for some shit, you know, just on the road driving and, and then boom, they're locked up because of some bullshit, like yeah. not paying their child support, man. It's just some sad bullshit. And I noticed how you said your mom, she was single, so like how you want your mom did for you, you gonna do for her in return, like in ten years yeah, from now. Yeah, just well, keep working hard. Well, Which like, I feel like my my life here yeah. is a gift to humanity. So if I could let it be a gift to humanity in that way of letting uh, these single moms who are gonna come in the future, single parents, yeah. or even just struggling families who need that extra income for the, to pay for the child's and take that burden off of them because they believe in their child's and they found this by some faith of hope. 
that would just be like a dream come true for me, man. And that's something to change the world. And you're still young, too. You got longer to go. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? Just turn 18. Man. man, by the time I'm 21, I'm, this, this, this has to blow up. Like, Dude, it's about to, bro. I'm doing it through a program. Bro, do it. Do what you got to do. do through a program. Let's see, it's through the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, okay. So it's a little like just grind like mentality. Bro. Yeah. It's like every day working to become a better person. What, what's That's some what it comes down to. What's some advice you think you can, I think you just give it right now. Yeah, just pretty much give it. It's the best advice I can give Work on yourself. Say that one more time. Grind for your shit, bro. Nobody's gonna put you on. You. That was the best advice I ever got in my life, bro. Hey, man. I got that shit in Las Vegas from my homie who's hustling hey, on the streets. He said, he said, grind for what you want. Okay. He said, no one puts you on what you. So I said, okay, I'm going to go get it. I see what you, you have a vision in your head. I like that. Yeah, you got you, you, you thinking, thinking about a lot of stuff. Visionary, bro. Yes. I'm a visionary. I see it. I'm doing shit, what's your, what's your, um, the most important thing that you think you can get out of, out of this whole um, business that you've ever the, the best thing I can get is uh, the accomplishment, right? Right. So, um, they say that in reality, it's not about accomplishing the goal, it's about who you become in the process of accomplishing the goal. So, if you get 99.9% there and then you're about to freaking quit, mm -hmm. and, and you just aren't ready to live that next night or minute and just before you see success and you look back right there and there bro like even if you're 101 percent yeah you have already came so far and improved so much that you're like a better person because, because you actually stood up for what you do and you, and you do just sit on the couch right and conform to society that's what that's what i think 80 percent of our generation is is lazy and our youth is the future you got to think about that the young the young generation is the future that's the future what yeah. we're doing is we're, we're the future i'm, yeah. I'm 22 I'm, I'm young no matter what happens you believe in what you're doing exactly. 10 years from now this shit's gonna blow up i would even say i'll say two or three five years yeah five. that's what we would love to think man right? you gotta have it. That's that's you happy, bro. Bro. That's confidence you have a vision have a have an idea have a thought of what you want to do first you have a thought then put it on paper then just apply it. Yeah, okay. man, they say they say if you don't write your, your dreams down, yeah. you're gonna end up working for someone who has written. Exactly. You don't wanna you don't you don't wanna work for somebody and call somebody else a boss. You wanna be your own boss. Yeah, bro. That's I what said, that since ten years old, I said I'm a boss, like Rick Rose. You gotta, huh? you gotta yeah, work I was hard. three years old, my favorite song, bro, and I love music. Mm -hmm. It was, was P-I-M-P -I -M -P by 50 Cent. I was a little <laughs> pimp. I just knew it. I knew it. I was a Man, I'm excited for this year. I, I feel like we got so many big things going on that's going to happen with us because we're both confident, we both have visions, and we both have ideas. Uh, yeah. Who's a, um, I don't know if, if I want to put it like this, but do you have somebody that you look up to? Like an idol that you Yeah, that I you definitely do. I mean, there's a few, but I mean, I'll tell you two. Okay. One dead, one still alive. Um, so, look at the one dead first. His name's Napoleon Hill. Yeah, Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill. Yeah, we can't go look up that name after you watch this video a few okay. times because that shit will help you in life. It's called Thinking Grow Rich, the shit he's famous for. He wrote a book called Thinking Grow Rich and it revolutionized the whole personal development industry, bro. It made millions of successful, more successful people than anything else. So yeah. I've been reading that book. I'm not really reading it. Um, I did at one time have the book, but I'm actually just listening to the audio version of my beats. Okay. And I mean, it's got the uh, surround sound and shit. So I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm vibing. So it's, it was real cool. I started getting like one week I got uh, chapters, like the first chapter. Yeah. The second week I got the second chapter. So I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna save this shit on my phone. And I started saving all of them on my phone. And now I just, I'm on like the week uh, nine or the second week. system uh, the school system took a break too yeah. so that's when we took a break too so off the program but I ain't going to school so I'll just you know I look at it that way 
But uh, but I'm about to be going back to class Tuesday for the tenth week, and that's when we get mentors, and that's when I get to talk to these older entrepreneurs. And they they tell you how to the they right steps. They're to mentor me through this process right, right, right. of going to the investor panel and pitching me my idea and trying to really do this thing like Shark Tank. Are you confident in yourself? Hell uh, yeah, bro. I see. <laughs> so you gonna be on Shark Tank? You said it's like Shark oh, it's Tank. Like Shark Tank. I got it's you. like Shark Tank. It's like a real thing. But yeah. I'm on definitely get some money. I know it's like at least a G, but I'm I'm gonna go for a hundred Gs. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you make it work out. Like. Because think about it, bro. The way I think about it is, the more money I have to invest into these shirts, yeah. the more people's lives I can, and families I can affect. The bigger my business grows. You feel me? I like how you think. That's how it goes, bro. It's abundant. Then the money's not so mine. Like every shirt that you make, well, most of the shirts you make for for now going to charities and whatnot, just to benefit. Yeah, them. I could break it down for you in numbers. Like, say I, I bought, say I bought a shirt for fifteen dollars and make it easy. Yeah. Uh, the bamboo shirt with the spin on it, with the logo in front and shit, make a dope shirt, right? Uh, I sell it for thirty dollars. That's cheap for a bamboo shirt. So thirty dollars, right? So. uh I take fifteen dollars and replace it, right? Yeah. I take another seven point five zero, which is half of fifteen, and I put that towards another shirt. So I take that other seven point five zero that's left over and subtract five dollars and put it towards the foundation. Now I've got myself two dollars and fifty cents profit of every single shirt sold. As long as you got it figured out and calculated. Two dollars and fifty cents off of every shirt sold yeah. adds up eventually. But also, I'm helping that foundation two times more than I'm making profit. So that's the reason why I do what I do. I mean, you seem, it seems like you got it all figured out. So, <laughs> yeah, man, I got, I got a lot of quotes and shit written in this book I'm trying. You mind reading them? Man, I, I could read a few. <laughs> Go ahead, I, read read a few. I like how young people, they think ahead of their time. That's, that's a visionary. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I like that. So I got one right here I think you'll, you'll like. So I said, Margaret Mead, she said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Because indeed, it's the only thing that ever happens. Okay, that was deep. Say that one more time. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens uh -huh. can change the world. Because indeed, it's the only thing that ever happens. What does that mean in your in your in your eyes? In my eyes, bro. Yeah. Shit, I seen that. I seen that after that logo. That's that's deep. That's deep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I seen that after that logo, bro. That logo was like, boom, big society, and then it just came out. And it's like, you just have a vision. I just had a right? vision, bro. You can see the vision on the logo. It's like, yeah, world peace. That's what I'm talking about. It's world peace, bro. That's the fucking continents, right? Yes. And I see the whole map our world too. We see a fucking alien homie, mm -hmm. and I'll stand up to that motherfucker. I'll be like, it's on my back. I'll stand <laughs> up for this shit. <laughs> it's on my back. Oh, man. But, but the, I got like a an evening prayer, a morning prayer in here, but I'll read you some like no, a little no. rap. I got you. You going to like, no. freestyle? No, no, bro. It's oh, just, no. Okay, deal with my bad. Okay. I can, I am, I will, I must, because in myself I totally trust, for I am strong with the burning desire to live my life to the max and never retire. I can, I am, I will, I must, for life is a process of do it or bust, a glorious chance to be all it can be, but only playing full out will set me free. I can, I am, I will, I must, the scheme of life I've got totally sus to accept any challenge without hesitation, live a life of results, not conversation. I can, I am, I will, I must. But if I rest on my lows and start collecting dust because only a person who continues to grow will, will always reap more than they sow. I can, I am, I will, I must. But if I rest on my lows and start collecting dust because only a person who continues to grow will always reap more than they sow. I can, I am, I will, I must. And you, people just turn to rust. Mm -hmm. I wish them well, but it's one of their shame for I will always be ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. I can, I am, I will, I must. That's not about just earning the crust. We were true, it just come when you start being grateful. What? And not comparing yourself and making others hateful. What? I can, I am, I will, I must, and when life ends, I won't be fussed. Preach. For when all said and done, I gave it my all, and now I'm ready for the next game. Huh? Standing proud and tall. He's with that fire. <laughs> I see you. Uh, that was nice. See? That was nice. That was nice. Uh, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah. From him, everything starts with a vision, and the man without vision dies. That's, you couldn't have said it any better than that. 
I just opened the book, bro. That shit's from Napoleon Hill. See, reading is fundamental. Like, there's no way, other way around it. Like, reading is fundamental. I don't even read that much, what I, which I should. Actually, I'm going to start reading. Because yeah. you, you inspired me. You it's inspired me. Bro, bro, honestly, you ain't got to read, bro. You just got to be no modest way. and honest yeah. with your authentic self. And realize that you can just listen to this shit. I, that's what I do, bro. I just listen to the audio version. So think and grow rich, right? So uh, there's another guy who um, I came across. He um, was featured in a, a show out in London yeah. called London Real, just like a show like this. How they're interviewing, um, but he was featured on the show, and I really liked what he said. And so I learned more about him and contacted him through a uh, really? hundred year old class in school. Okay. And um, he wrote back to me. Actually, he didn't write back to me. He recorded his voice over a voiceover and messaged me through there. And he was like, telling me all this inspirational stuff. Like, I, I love your spirit, man. Yeah. Just, I, like, I see the world's going to see a lot more of you in the future and stuff like that, you know. Just Coming from some somebody like that, that it was like, whoa. Yeah, and crazy. so I listened to this guy's Straight Talk series. His name's Peter Sage, by the way. He's been working on a space energy program since 04. And this shit's crazy, bro. It's revolutionary because what he says, he's an extreme entrepreneur. So what this guy has to offer mm -hmm. is, is amazing, bro. It's just like he goes into business. Um, he goes into, into being healthy and all this stuff. And, and he gives work. you advice about it? Or he just talks about it? Like, talks about it, gives you yeah. advice. He okay. tells you to read Think and Grow Rich. He um, really believes in I actually heard of that, that Think and Grow Rich. Yeah, 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 man. It's a good book. So this guy, he's been doing his shit, man. And he's uh, been an entrepreneur since like, for like 30 years now. It's crazy. Yeah. How long have you been um, following him? For about two years now, I've been listening to his content. Okay. Yeah, so he's really kind of shapes the, the new me. What? What are you like? You, you, because I know you're an entrepreneur, but what, 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 what is Alan Roscoe? What, what would, would I, I say? Uh, yeah, well, who are you? I feel like um, I'm a grinder. When it really comes down to it, at the end of the day, I'm just a, a man trying to make a way, trying to fucking um, make a business that's going to revolutionize. Maybe not the next two years, but the next five or ten years. Yeah, and, and that's the way I see it. That's like, how you gotta look at it. Into that's the how you gotta look at it, yeah. man. And, and right now, I've been making shit happen. I said I was gonna make this shit happen, and I've been living up to who, who I think I am. You know, I feel like uh, the purpose of life is not to be happy, but to be authentic. Yeah. What I can tell you is, um, keep working hard, have faith, and have confidence, and then. Whatever you do, make it better than the last venture. So if you want to make shirts, if you want to be a model, if you want to be an actor, do better than what you previously did, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like as I'm doing interviews with everybody, like all these talented individuals, I want to make my last, my next interview better than my last interview. I want to just keep working hard, like taking notes. Yeah. Because you might, you might have somebody else that's in your foot that's just trying to do the same exact thing you're doing. It's kind of competition, but you can link up with them, see what they're doing, work with them. Yeah. And Take note, like, get some stuff, like, feedback from them, and apply it to your own craft. Oh, yeah, and I have you know been doing I mean? that the last two years. I've been doing a lot of that, listening, learning from the best. The yeah. was already doing what I'm trying to do. That's what's up. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Listen, you already know what it is. I'm Al Joseph. If you like what you see on my YouTube channel, subscribe. Peace.